We've been following the story of a Wake County teen fighting for his life, all while inspiring others. Tonight, News 18's Krista Henry brings us part two of Determined to Make a Difference. For the past six months, 15-year-old Wesley Corbin and his family have been on the road to recovery after the Tri-County freshman was faced with a detour when he was diagnosed with leukemia on August 10, 2012. It's required sacrifice. You know, we've all had to give up things that we did in our life from the youngest to my husband and I, but you don't care. You do it because you want your kid to get better. Some days it's really rough for our, like our family, but we get through it. Although the Corbins have seen some dark days during his journey, they say they won't give up. They continue to share light, hope, and inspiration with others who are taking the journey with them. Sometimes bad things happen, and out of those blessings come. And this is one of those situations uh, that certainly um, uh, changed so many people. It doesn't matter your age, or if you're on staff, or if you're a student. Um, he has changed us. He has um, inspired us to be better. He's inspired the community to be better and has inspired them to come together. In December, soldiers in Wesley's Army at Tri County High School flooded the hallways with a sea of orange during West Week, a week dedicated to Wesley and his fight to be cancer free. We're uh, selling wristbands for $2 a piece. They're, uh, all the proceeds go to Wesley. After West Week, we received phone calls from people in the Indianapolis area because they had heard about it. Radio stations were picking up on it throughout the state, and we received donations. They would call or email to say, how can we send a donation? And these are people that don't even know who Wes is. Random people from our community were wanting to donate, and there would be $100 checks and $100 bills, and um, that's far-reaching. Nearly $18,000 later, West Week came to an end, but the love and support from the community kept going. Complete strangers were shaving their heads. Students at other area schools were turning class projects into fundraisers for Wesley, and the teen says he believes the abundance of love has started to heal him. I got sick two or three times a day, and even sometimes even more, and there was really nothing that could hold it down. And um, after West Week, I have only puked. Once. A new chapter in the Corbin story of faith began this month. All three of Wesley's siblings were tested to be donors for his bone marrow transplant scheduled for some time in March. With only a 1.5% chance that all three would be matches, prayers were answered. And all three of them can give him the gift of a second chance at life. It's one thing to say you have faith. It's another thing to show it, and, and Wes has done that, and his whole family has done that, and that, that just, I'm in awe of how, how much faith they have and, and the strength of, of Wes to make it through this, not just physically, but spiritually, is, uh, is amazing. I think the bottom line is Wes is going to get better, and that is my sense of peace that I know he's going to be better. We've been very determined that... We are going to make it through this, and we're going to make it through this in an intact family. But until Wesley is cancer-free, the Corbins are just appreciating one day at a time. Krista Henry, News 18. Wesley has still managed to get straight A's this school year. He's been working on school assignments from home when he feels healthy. Right now, he's receiving intense chemotherapy at Riley before he undergoes his bone marrow transplant next month.